So apparently, we all keep in our heart and in our mind an artificial, personal reality. Certain cultures celebrate the lack of reality, like LA, so you have to have reality checks. And this is not a new thing. The concept of checking on reality or having someone tell you what the rules are for reality is really an ancient thing with us. You see, we like to have our own freedom. I have my freedom for my fucking reality and that's it. Garlic is good. If I eat 40 cloves of garlic, I won't get sick. People around me will vomit and faint, but I'll be fine. <laughs> Did you ever stand next to a Korean on a train? Jesus. <laughs> Conductor, kill me. Would you please kill me? <laughs> those little cha-cha steps are called the paradigm. How to cha-cha, those little paper cha-cha steps? How to go to it. This is reality. It goes like this, see? Eh? And the most famous distributor of that is the Catholic Church. Back in the Middle Ages, in the old days, when a white beanie meant something. Now, I had an early exposure to the Catholic Church. I went to a Catholic grammar school in a little tough Italian neighborhood with St. Carmine's, patron saint of plea bargaining. <laughs> it's the only statue of a saint with a hat in front of his face. <laughs> with a little slogan on his pedestal, I didn't fucking see nothing. <laughs> And we had, you know, we had, I was on that train yesterday. I saw a nun. She had a backup nun with her. They always come out in twos. Right? One drives the car, the other one does the hit. And she was a nun, but her feet were sticking out. She had like knee down. My nuns didn't have feet. They floated on a little invisible cushion of suppressed sexuality. <laughs> But remember, I'm not that old. Already the Vatican's grip on reality was being challenged and loosened, modified. But in the old days, what the Pope said was real was fucking real, and that was it. One day, a guy named Bruno, they never said he smoked shit, but I think he did. He laid on the roof of his house, he was a philosopher, and he got an idea. He became convinced his idea was a new version of reality, and he told the Pope. He said, oh, Pope, well, you know, last night on the roof, okay, I was, all right. I laid there, look at the stars that are coming to me. The earth is not the center. The sun don't go around us, we go around the sun. And the Pope says, that's a very interesting, Bruno. Get him, and they jumped him. <laughs> Two Catholic monks, I think that's where the term hood came from originally. <laughs> And they burned him to death. <laughs> that was a debate with the Catholic Church. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, burn him. <laughs> a few years later, one of the Pope's buddies, a guy he had genuine affection and respect for, a man named Galileo came over. And Galileo liked to tinker, and he had invented a telescope. And he said, oh, Pope, look, look at this thing I got. You look in here, you could see we're not the center. We go around the sun. And the Pope said, that's a very interesting, Galileo. But before you go in the public square and say this shit, I want you to relax. Remember, remember Bruno. <laughs> now relax, have some cold wine, have some roasted nuts. <laughs> and Galileo saw the error of his way. So, you know, you're right, it's a fly shit on the lens. That's what it was. 